What's up guys, welcome back to the channel again and welcome back to another video. So today's video is going out to my manual buddies out there. We're gonna be upgrading the clutch stop on the M4 from the little tiny one that comes included with the car to this beefy one from Burger Motorsports. Perfect. So for those of you that don't know, in a manual transmission BMW, a clutch stop is very simply where the clutch pedal stops. So if you push your clutch pedal all the way in, you're gonna hear it hit a surface. That is the clutch stop. And all it is is it's basically a little bumper that the pedal is pushing up against. So when we replace it with something like this, all we're doing is we're taking it from what was probably one disc up to about five discs, which in return decreases the distance that we have to push our clutch pedal in before we hit the bottom, which in return brings us closer to the catch point of the actual transmission. So in the M4 here, my catch point is not anywhere near the bottom. I have to still bring the pedal up probably two inches or so before I even get to my catch point. So putting this in is gonna not only improve my shifting speed, but also improve the driving experience as a whole because it's gonna bring me closer to where the transmission actually catches. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get underneath there. I'm gonna try to show you guys what it looks like under there. I'm gonna pull out the old one and then we'll compare it to what we're replacing it with. So as you guys know, of course, the clutch stop is gonna be up underneath the dash. It's gonna be in that little canal where the clutch actually compresses up into. Now it is a little bit hard to get up in there, so I'm gonna do my best to show you guys. But I'm gonna crawl up under the dash. I'm gonna show you guys what the existing one looks like. I've noticed that on most cars, it's a little black circle. Um, in the F80s and F82s for mine. For some reason, it's like a little white piece of plastic. Um, so I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna show you guys where it's at, then we'll pull it out and compare it to the new one that we're replacing it with. All right guys, so if you see that little white circle that's got some black on it, that's actually my clutch stop. So that's the piece that we're gonna be pulling out. We're gonna use a couple tools to try to get this pulled out and then uh, we'll kind of compare the old to the new. So I was able to get it out here and it actually is rubber, not plastic. And I was actually able to get it out with just my fingers. So it wasn't terribly hard. I was just able to grab the edges with my fingers and pull on it, pull it out. Um, but if you compare this to, you know, what we're replacing it with thickness wise, like you're gonna be saving at least half an inch to three quarters of an inch on your clutch throw. This is gonna be a huge benefit, not only in the driving experience, but just in general, the quickness you're able to shift gears. So I'm super excited to get this installed. I'm gonna go and crawl back under there. We're gonna push in our new one and then we're gonna see what the difference looks like. All right, so this is actually about a month or two months after I actually installed the clutch stop. What we ended up having to do, since it was a little bit difficult to get some leverage to push the clutch stop in because it is a tight fit, we did actually drop the dash with just a few bolts and then we were able to get in there and actually push it in all the way. One thing to note is the disc itself, so the replacement clutch stop, it had about five discs. So just to note, I did take out two of the bumpers, which from what I could read online, that was pretty common that a lot of people would do that as well. But, so the reason why I'm filming this about a month or two after is a lot of the videos I saw on YouTube were people installing it and then driving with it immediately afterwards and their first impressions. Um, and I kind of wanted to do a little bit different, drive with it for a few months, see if it's something that I liked or something that I found more of a nuisance. So let's go ahead and jump in the car and we'll talk about it. All right guys, so I'm gonna keep this generally short and sweet. So like I said, I've been driving with the clutch stop now for about two months-ish. And I've been trying to feel mostly whether this is something for someone who's gonna daily drive this car, if it's really practical, if it's more of an annoyance and just straightforward, it, it honestly is the way that it should have came stock. I mean, that, that, that is my ultimate opinion, and I'll kind of tell you why. So, like I mentioned previously in the other video that I filmed for this, the catch point is probably two inches or so above where the pedal actually hits. Now, the reason why this clutch stop does so well is because it just, it honestly makes the shifting smoother. So even when I'm like really getting on it, I can, I can glide between gears a lot easier than I could before. Honestly, before with the stock clutch stop, it was just that little thin piece of rubber, it honestly made it clunky driving and, and, and shifting into the gears because trying to find that catch point was just so much higher. Now, a lot of people would argue that, oh, well, it's only you know, three little discs that maybe change it by half an inch. 
it, it makes a difference. I mean, I, I will say that I, I definitely noticed the second that I got in the car. And I will tell you that this, as soon as I pulled off with the new clutch stop, it was so much better. And I mean, like, you're looking at a modification, <laughs> it costs like $10. And honestly, it made a huge improvement to the overall enjoyment of driving the car. Now, really, your performance or performance gains, your ability to shift quicker is, is really marginal. Um, I, I honestly would say that this is more of a functionality. Like I said, it, it just makes it simply shift smoother. It's not as clunky when you're trying to find that catch point. And I feel like this clutch stop itself brings you right where you need to be. It's not too high, it's not too low. So if you're planning to do this, I would definitely suggest taking out two discs. I think it is perfect. You can put the other discs in. Um, a lot of things that I read online said that having all five discs, you basically were left with the clutch catch point was right there. So as soon as you push the pedal down and you release, you're catching. So one thing that I was worried about as far as the clutch stop goes is as far as durability. This post on this new clutch stop is plastic. The pads themselves are just little thin foam pads. My question was, is it because it's made of plastic, if I push down too hard, is it gonna bend left or right? Do I have to worry about it being super squishy or anything like that because it's a you know a thick amount of three foam pads? Honestly, none of that was a concern of mine after driving it. The post itself doesn't move left or right. It's very firm no matter how hard I push on it. On top of that, the foam pads themselves are not squishy whatsoever as far as I'm concerned. I'm pushing down on a very thin, firm surface. So feel-wise, I would say that it's perfect. Overall, my review for this product, get it. Just do it! I mean, if you have a manual transmission BMW and you're looking for a little bit more pep in the clutch feel, I definitely think this is worth the money. I mean, guys, it's 10 bucks. I mean, you seriously can't beat it for that. Worst case, you don't like it, you throw it away and you're out $10. But as you guys know, I link all these products in the description. So if you are interested, they'll be linked down there. Make sure you guys hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.